Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. The Assam Police Special Task Force on Wednesday apprehended two ISIS leaders who were camping in a neighboring country and had crossed the international border to enter India during a search operation carried out at specific locations along the international border area. Reports indicate that military airstrikes in western Myanmar have claimed the lives of at least 25 members of the Rohingya minority, including children. 25 others were wounded in the attack. Election Commission issued notifications for the first phase of Lok Sabha elections. In the notification, the Election Commission of India informed that March 28 will be the last date for filing nominations for Bihar and March 27 for Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Tripura, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Bengal, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Jammu and Kashmir, Lakshadweep and Puducherry. Industrialist Gautam Adani may soon enter India's internet services market, potentially challenging Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Geo. Adani participated in the last Spectrum auction and is expected to bid for 5G Spectrum in the upcoming auction on 20th of May. Day after resigning as Telangana Governor, Tamilisai Soundarajan on Wednesday joined BJP in the presence of Tamil Nadu Party Chief K. Annamalai in Chennai. Prime Minister Modi on Wednesday spoke to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky hours after speaking to Russian President Vladimir Putin. The development comes in the backdrop of Putin's re-election as president. Reports said that the two leaders said that they see India as a peacemaker and have invited Prime Minister Modi to visit their countries after the looks of her polls. Russian and Belarusian athletes will not be allowed to take part in the traditional parade at the opening ceremony at the Paris Olympics. The opening ceremony on July 26, which will see thousands of athletes travel on boats down the river Seine for several kilometers towards the Eiffel Tower instead of the normal parade of teams inside a stadium. Russia and Belarus are barred from team sports at the Olympics because of the war in Ukraine. New Zealand has entered its second recession in 18 months after the latest round of GDP figures confirmed its economy contracted in the last quarter of 2023. The country's economy shrank by 0.1% in the quarter to December and 0.7% in per capita terms. The latest slip follows a 0.3% contractions in the September quarter, which fulfills the technical definition of a recession. It is New Zealand's second recession event in the past 18 months. Russia will deliver the remaining two S-400 air defense missile squadrons to India by the third quarter of 2026. Russia was supposed to deliver the five squadrons by early 2024, but the supplies suffered delays due to ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. India has already received three squadrons of the S-400 missile systems out of the five it had ordered in 2018. China is reportedly building nuclear arsenal at a scale not seen since World War II as fears of a Taiwan invasion rise. Bloomberg cited a top U.S. admiral to report on Wednesday that Beijing could initiate an attack as soon as 2027. This comes as Taipei warned that Xi Jinping has built an enormous military base on three islands surrounding Taiwan's main holding in South China Sea. Indo-Pacific Command Lead Admiral John Aquilino testified that China is expanding its military and nuclear capabilities at scale. He further warned of a potential invasion by 2027. 